contest is a handicap match. Introducing first, representing the Shield from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. Seth. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. Oh, well, look who's here. Big Evil. And his opponents, first from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, The Undertaker! A metamorphosis of destruction is on display. He may not dress like Satan himself anymore, but he's still down with the devil and ready to get medieval tonight. There will be no mercy, no fear. When Big Evil sets his sights, he doesn't miss. And he has his sights set on the entire WWE locker room. Here comes the devil's favorite demon. And representing the Brothers of Destruction, from parts unknown, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! The mere presence of the devil's favorite demon, a chilly monstrosity, and a disdain for all humanity. This is the Big Red Machine. I can't decide if it's brave or foolish to take on a handicap match challenge like this. Much like speaking with Saxton, it's a little bit of both. You lose a lot of advantages in a handicap match, but victory means so much more. Going right after the neck, neck breaker. He could pin his opponent right here. And he manages to kick out in one. Close call, but not enough yet. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. He knows how to avoid contact. Ooh, man, what a hit. So much damage inflicted. And here is Kane in off the tag. And the counter from Rollins. Looking for a scoop slam. No, it slips behind. Inverted DDT. Is it possible that the side with the numbers game in a handicap match could have a disadvantage? Absolutely. The handicap's usually there for a reason. And that's because the other side has certain advantages. It's important to remember your strengths and play to it. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ooh. Single underhook, face first, driven down. And a series of vicious stomps. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. It really looks like Kane's struggling right now. Counters that. Kane managing to get some control back now. Yeah, but Kane needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Range down an elbow retaliation. 
Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh, big boot. Jarring impact. He's absorbed some damage already. Tag made. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Shifts it back onto him. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Tucks his tail between his legs and gets out of there. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Hip toss. Cover. Gets the shoulder up in one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, right into the shoulder. That's got to hurt. Now that'll do some serious damage. He gets tagged in. Big reversal by Rollins. Here comes the setup, double underhook. There it is, pedigree. He thinks he has it. Just kicks out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Kane needs to get his wits about him fast. With some attitude. Hits him with the counter. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. And Rollins couldn't get out of harm's way there. This is a true test of stamina. You have to stay strong to come out on top in a handicap match. All the way out. Plex. Cover. A kick out to stay alive. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Up and around, uh-oh. What a power slam. Extending their opponent's arm in a big leg drop. Pile driver on its way. Sit down, pile driver. Just a flagrant display of aggression to do something like that. Oh, it's ruthless striking. Stiff punch. A precision shot, and now Rollins is bleeding. Down to Odin. Does he get him here? Kicking out in time. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. The Undertaker with the cinch. Chuck slam. Here's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Some serious harm. Picture perfect drop kick. He's looking a little weary now. Oh, come on, Cole. No one leaves a handicap match completely unscathed.
That is just pure instinct at this point. Single leg drop kick caught him. Rollins got surprised there. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. God, oh, what a knee strike. The Undertaker makes the tag. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Target. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Oh, effective body blow. Look at these vicious stomps in the corner. Oh, my goodness. Just strike it at will. Kane turns it around. Knee right to the gut. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, right on the arm. Might have hurt the arm with that one. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Oh, a costly error there. Turning the tables. Slight blade. Oh, perfect kick. Drop kick to the face. Returning fire. Look out. Stop. Crucial moment for the Undertaker. Shoulders down. And there's the save. Taking this match off the mat now. Up high. Five stars. Seth Rollins, stop! Rollins just turned the lights out. Cover! And they're still in this! Chills have to be running up your spine after The Undertaker is able to kick out like that. How often do you see Seth Rollins come up that short, that close? He's got to be livid right about now. What, what do you say? I mean... This, this is this is amazing. Rollins just a step too slow. The Undertaker finally finding an answer to that onslaught. If Undertaker was looking for a chance to turn this around, this could be it. He went right into that turnbuckle. Reversal by The Undertaker. The time has arrived to rest in peace. Tombstone from The Undertaker. Rollins may be laid to rest. Makes a cover. Superstar standing. Here are your winners. The team of The Undertaker and Kane. And what a victory. Surviving and ultimately thriving in a match like this. Against all of the odds. It's honestly a miracle. I'm not so sure about a miracle.